You see it everywhere. Plastic littered along highways, scattered near trash cans, and of course at our beaches. Yeah, well, the, the pushback against plastic is growing, and as KPIX 5's Wilson Walker explains, this is an issue that every California will have a say on later this year. It is perhaps the most tactile and in your face of our environmental challenges. We're talking about plastic, namely the single use variety that ends up just about everywhere, maybe on the ground, maybe packed into our landfills. Well, the movement against plastic is now picking up momentum. Uh, so we try and do our, the best that we possibly can to promote compostable uh, and biodegradable products. At San Rafael's Red Whale Coffee, every effort is made to keep the products as green as possible. Uh, even our flatware we use, like I said, is, is compostable uh, when we can get them. And Marin County is now on its way to asking that of every restaurant. At the current rate of plastic production... This week, county supervisors moved ahead with an ordinance that would move all restaurants towards sustainable packaging. Yeah. yeah, we're really, really glad that this ordinance is finally going through. This plan was launched by two seventh graders back when they were in the third grade. We started with plastic straws because I saw a bunch of videos of sea turtles with straws stuck in their noses and and I wanted to act. This is an issue that is really rating above climate change as a concern among voters across California. Jay Ziegler is with the Nature Conservancy, a group that supports a single-use plastic ballot measure now heading towards California voters. Uh, there is an initiative on the November ballot that will um, put California in the lead. It requires a 25% reduction in single-use plastic waste. It may be a goal widely embraced by Californians, but achieving this will not be easy. Boyd says staying green has become incredibly difficult because of supply chain issues and inflation. Let's just say cold cups, which is a clear compostable cup, um, those are upwards of close to $200 a case, um, where before they used to be, you know, under $100. But still, he is committed, and he hopes that the plan in the long run will work out for everyone. Hopefully it's a, it's a bigger picture with stuff that will support it on the back end, not just, hey, you guys have to do this, and if you don't, then you're going to get fined or whatever it is. Um, small businesses, as it is right now, are already having a hard time as, uh, with, with everything that's going on. So Now, there are a lot of complexities to all of this. Biodegradable, for example, does not necessarily mean compostable. People will have to figure out which avenue they want to be going. Marin, for example, might table their measure for a little while while those types of things are sorted out. That would be before a final vote. We're here in San Francisco, Wilson Walker, KPIX 5.